Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again at a secret location right now. I'm here hanging out with somebody that I, I haven't seen in a while. And we just got done filming for his very first podcast. I was the first guest on his podcast that he has. I'm in the Bauer box with Bauer himself. I did call it the Bauer box. You're exactly right. Yeah. I'm the man in the box. Yeah. Live in a damn box. Hey, we all live in a box somehow. What's up, Wet Movie One crew? Everybody out there, thank you guys for being friends and fans of mine, but more importantly, loving this guy. Yeah. He's a great dude, and so, I love his videos. So, man, we just got done doing your podcast, the Happy Alien Podcast. Hap, H A P. Yeah. Happy Alien Podcast. I needed to do something in my life instead of lying here watching movies and masturbating. So, I decided to create a podcast and having celebrity guests and pe friends of mine that I know, plus members from the channel, yeah. will be a part of the podcast. And I decided to make you my first guest because I love you and I miss you. Plus, you were in town. Yeah. So, we killed two birds with one stone. Yeah, man. And if you guys want to watch that exclusive interview, it is on my channel for members only right now. It's over but an hour. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. We talk about a lot of good stuff. And... You have to become a member to watch it, but in maybe a few weeks or a month, it might be released to the public. Yeah. But that way, it would support me as well. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to watch that entire full interview, become a member of my YouTube.com slash HeyBauer. I'm sure you'll put links yeah, down man. below. So what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. Like, you know, I've been, I've been working the full-time job now, and, you know, what, what you what you what you've been doing? You want to get in the camera? You want to sit on down and get in the camera? No, I will in a second, man. I'm just chilling. What right have now. I been up to? It's just one of those questions that, you know, how long do you have? No, like, or, or how, how <laughs> nothing. I sit in my apartment and I hope for a brighter future. Yeah, how, how many? How many? No, nah, never. I don't know. If I'm I mean, right. I'm just being honest, bro. You know, like we all struggle with anxiety, depression, you know, whatever our disorders are, and yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this question is inappropriate or not. Don't answer it if you don't want to. But how many times do you think you masturbate in a week? Well, you know what? Typically, once. But I don't know if I'm going through my midlife crisis or my man cycle or whatever. But like, it's like every day now. Whoa! Every you, ma you yeah, I've been been. I've been watching podcasts and a bunch of different shows, and I recently learned a show called Plug Talk, mm. and that's is, is, is that Is that about plugging someone's butt? <laughs> no, it's it's a podcast, right? So this guy, Adam22, mm. and his girlfriend, her name is Lena A Plug or something like that. Okay. They interview porn stars, and then they have sex with them after, like right after. I'm like, what a concept. That's crazy. And they got some beautiful girls. So, but I mean, I've been going wild lately. So I've, I've been learning a lot of stuff. Dude, there was a show called Colin Sleazy Friends where it was these dudes that would interview porn remember, stars and, 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 you know, celebrities like Jack Black and stuff. So is this kind of like that or like a little different? Yeah, it's way different. I think Colin Sleazy and Friends, they would have girls just walk around and cook food topless. Yeah. Didn't they do stuff like that? They had DVDs of that, yeah. Yeah. I think that was kind of like... I don't know. That, that was like my forte uh, into the porn industry when I was young. All right, ha all right. Have a seat. Have a seat on this. Uh, would you say this is cum stained? This couch. Oh, God. I'm just wondering. You're so cringe. I'm just <laughs> so disgusting, bro. I'm just. I'm just wondering if if I have to like you know. If that's if that if that's what you want to give to your viewers is these type of jokes. And you know, like, go ahead. But uh, I'm just, I'm just. Fucking hey, up. you allowed me to talk about conspiracies and aliens on my podcast. Yeah. I guess we're gonna talk about WAP. Yeah. <laughs> with you. <laughs> you guys know what WAP is, right? Yeah. So, so something that white ass penile people. Oh. All right. White ass hood. <laughs> so when is when it cum stained? I. I hope not, um, but I'm sure it is. So, there, so like, there's your damn answer. Okay, that, that's what I want to know. If I had a black light, and I, I turned, we turned off all the lights, and I went through this whole apartment, we, 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 what would we see? Would we see anything on the walls? 
on the couch because I know if we I know if we did it in my 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 room it would be kind of bad. What a question! Of of course you're gonna find something, but it's not always gonna be cream. Oh, or cream shickles. <laughs> I mean, imagine all the things that went on in this box, whether it be food, you know, yeah. uh, hair. <laughs> I I don't know. I know. You're I gonna know. find you're gonna find a lot of things. You're gonna find new species of animals. I don't know why. I guarantee you, you're gonna find new species of animals. Or like some sort of like larva. Something I created from down below, you know, from the the That's, heated area down below that gets a lot of ooh, get, gets gets the flow going. I'm sure there's new species down there somewhere. Not only crabs, but something else. Fear the crab cat. I don't know. I, I, That's in Otis to the Y files. Many of you guys know what the Y files are. I don't. What's the What's the Y files? It's a good conspiracy YouTube channel about you know alternate life and stuff like that. The Y files. It's pretty fun. I, I got a little fish that talks. Hecklefish. I I don't know if I I I don't really follow the conspiracy stuff really that much, but I know we talked about this on your podcast. I've been all of watching the stuff on TikTok about Gypsy Rose, mm. and uh, that 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 kind of stuff is kind of making me go. I don't care. But well, since you're being disgusting with me, would you do G Gypsy Rose, even knowing she she plotted her mom's murder, and if she was in front of you wanting to go down on the wet movie stir? Mm. I don't know. Like, I, cause I, I don't. Oh, want come on, man! Don't play humble. I don't. I don't. Don't want play humble. Man, I'll let her do whatever she want to do. Go ahead. I got no problem with it. Gypsy Rose, give me head. Is it is it <laughs> is it because you think she's cute and you you would do it, or because you you get you'll get clout from it? No, it's just because crazy girls are fun. <laughs> crazy girls are fun every once in a while. I mean, you don't want to marry them. Yeah. You don't want to live with them. But first, I'd make sure she didn't have a knife. I'd make sure my door was locked. She didn't have a boyfriend with a knife. Mm. And I'll, I'll keep her away from my mother. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I got, I got, you know, yeah. I, I got to keep her ass away from that. But yeah, a man is. I, I guarantee you, any woman would ask a hundred percent of men, "Let me have sex with you or go down on you." I guarantee you, ninety out of them will say yes. Huh? They'll make sure nobody's around, nobody's filming, nobody's watching. Oh yeah. But they'll say yes. Oh, of course. So that the same thing with the Gypsy Rose Blanchard girl. Okay, uh, speaking of movies... And he said he wouldn't. What a fucking liar. You a liar. I, I don't know, man. You need to get your wet movie one sucked. I'm just saying, she seems like one of those people that would just, like, bite it off or something. Again, crazy girls are fun. You know what I mean? Like, I might, I might not wake up the next day. Y you would wake up. John Wayne Bobbitt, or whatever his name is, got his penile yeah. taken away, and or he still lived. Or he didn't get it taken away. I think it was just, like, a piece, right? Yeah, he still lived. He did. I know he lived, and he also made he made some adult movies afterwards. Yeah. How old were you when you first saw your first adult movie, or adult like scene or whatever? I think the first time I ever saw it was on in Colin Stacey Friends when they what showed. What is your channel becoming? I don't know. We're just bullshitting right now. First time I ever witnessed a porn. I mean, I witnessed one probably eight, nine. Nine years old. Yeah, but I didn't do anything. Like yeah. I just didn't, didn't know what it was. It was and then probably around 11 or 12 was when I first started to fill my body or whatever. Mm. So I think the first time I was like, oh, naked girls, was there was this, like, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, a repair shop, car repair shop, auto body shop. That was next to our apartment I lived at. And I was walking past it one day, and I had to go to the bathroom. And they let me use the bathroom. And inside their little, like, crusty, greasy bathroom was like oh, center photos like all, all, yeah i've seen places like that and then they had like stacks of playboys and i was just like you ain't and i took you know took one home and they're probably wondering why the hell does he keep coming back here you know kind of things i'm like do you see what you have in your bathroom this was back in the you know mid early 90s kind of thing and i was just like that's what i was my, i think that was my first official foray into like did oh. you rub one out in a garage <laughs> car auto shop bathroom did you no i took the magazine home all right and then, then, and then I, I use that. I use Sometimes that. Sometimes you gotta go where you gotta go. I, I, I use that place as my uh, personal library for a while, because I, you know, we bring one back, and then they had different ones, and got cut. What are we talking about right now? That you started it. You tend to always go sexual or gay jokes with all your friends. But did I do that on your podcast? Really, too much. No, but the happy. But alien. the minute you started filming your vlog, you went that exact area. 
because I don't know what the, I, I I wasn't planning on filming anything. I was just coming to hang out and like you know see you and then you know whatever. I, I wasn't planning on like doing. She means video. it's on your mind. She means it's on your mind. I guess so. But, I guess um, so. But the Happy Alien Podcast. Um, what made you go? What What made you come up with that title? Uh, cause I believe we're all aliens, or we live in the Matrix, or just aliens are popular now. Mm. So maybe for the algorithm as well. Okay. It'll be something good to write aliens in a title, you know, for YouTube or whatever. And plus, I like conspiracies. I like that type of talk. And you write the word alien. People will know that the podcast is possibly not normal or traditional. Mm. Um, but even though it is normal and traditional, I want to delve into areas with guests talking a little bit about aliens or conspiracies because that's stuff that I enjoy to talk about. And I just thought it was a catchy name because by the end of every episode, I hope everybody's a happy alien. Yeah. Like, like I said in this podcast a couple times, Nanu Nanu. Yeah, Mork. Mork? Mork from Mork, Mork and, and Mindy. Mindy. Yeah. One of the shows I like. You know the real title to that movie was, or to that TV show was Pork and Mindy? Was that, the, was that the... You get it? I guarantee you that's what the writers wanted to call it. Pork and Mindy. That's not, they probably made that's a... That's the porn movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They probably made a parody of that. That's the porn... Have you ever seen the website with all the porn movies that are based off of TV and film? You know, like X-Men. You know, they would do a parody, a yeah. porn parody. Yeah. Those are pretty fun, man. They made one of uh, Sanford and Son. I forgot the name of it. Sanford and Son. I remember they did a Sweet Valley High one. Uh, what was that? The F Flint's Bones. The oh, Stones. Flint's Bones. Is that what it was called? I, th Stones? I think so, yeah. I'm sure they've done one of all, man. Uh, I just watched one recently. Oh, my God. It was based off of the Screech. Uh, what was the name oh, of that? Uh, Saved say by the Bell. Yeah. I forgot the name of that one, but they they done a lot of weird like you know uh, adult movie parodies over the years. But this was just a random video, just chit chatting. Do you have a favorite adult actress? Not really. Growing up, that you could always remember. To be honest, I, I never really cared about the names of the girls. I was just like, oh, I'm done. I don't. I was never like, oh my god, I gotta follow their careers. What's their name? Ooh, I gotta get their Instagram. Oh, there the wasn't only, Instagram back the then. The only girl that I could remember from growing up. This, we're talking the '90s, the early '90s, or you know, like mid to late '80s when I started typically knowing but Nina Hartley was one um and that's the only one I could think about and then of course Jenna Jameson many years later in the uh, 90s yeah I, I only knew her because of like Howard Stern and stuff yeah like she like did something with her her downstairs and she sold like sh she sold shavings of her labia or something who was that Jenna Jameson I believe so yeah. I, only because I saw it on the Howard Stern show when it was on the well e you've lived in the San Fernando Valley most of your life so you, you know Jenna Jameson had a, a facility pretty close to here. Mm. And I'm not going to say exactly where, but she had a, a facility pretty close to here. She made a production company, and, and it, it's still there. And you know she charges at, at conventions 100 bucks to, for autographs? Yeah. Don't you think that's kind of crazy? No. For her, just a, an autograph? I charge $50 for my cameos, and I charge $30 for my autographs. Mm. I was just and she did a lot more than I did. She did a lot more people than I did. She did a lot more people. What's your body count? <laughs> you don't have to answer it. I don't have a body count. How are you watching those podcasts? There's podcasts called Whatever, Fresh and Fit, where they talk to girls mm. and they mansplain everything to them. Nope. But they got all these girls that are only fan stars and stuff like that because they want to get publicity on these podcasts. And they give them subjects and they mansplain to them and they huh. make them look stupid. It's called the Whatever Podcast, the Fresh and Fit Podcast. Pretty interesting. Uh, that's uh, I never heard about those. They ask them the body count all the time, and they, they debate it online. People send in money. Oh my God, you're such a hoe! How did you do? You know, thirty four guys and and guys that are married to a girl, and she supports them by doing OnlyFans and having sex with other men. Mm. And then they call the guy like a c u c k word. And they make fun of him, and they're like, you're not even a man, bro. Like, you mm. let your women pay your bills and have sex with other people. That's, it, it's a crazy, these are crazy podcasts, man. Yeah, man. I don't know any about any about any of those podcasts, really, but you should check I out. I know, because you got a job. You should check out the Happy Alien podcast, which I'm the first guest of. 
And uh, you have to be a member of his YouTube channel to see it if you want to see the full uncut version of it. But Mike, dude, it's been fun hanging out with you, chit-chatting with you on the podcast and randomly on here for, what, 15, 16 minutes so far just messing around. I appreciate it, Mikey. Thank you. Yeah, every Thursday night, 7 p.m., happy Alien Podcast. But to watch the exclusive full interviews, you got to be a member of the channel. But you're going to get a version of it this Thursday night, 7 p.m., when I go live. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, man. Love ya. Love ya. Make sure all the links will be down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Ta-ta.